In This Week, Next Week, Tomorrow, the Ponting case will be one of the topics discussed by David Dimbleby and his guests, Robin Cook, MP, Geoffrey Rippon, MP, and Sir John Hoskins. This week, next week, tomorrow lunchtime at one o'clock. Good evening to you. Not a great deal of change in the weather tomorrow. I think I was a little pessimistic with the temperatures uh, last night. They did get above freezing in most parts of the country. In fact, on a couple of islands up in Shetland and Anglesey, temperature got up to 7 centigrade, 45 Fahrenheit. I think probably a repeat of that uh, through tomorrow. It looks as though this front, which is a band of cloud basically, is likely to clip up into some southern parts of the country tomorrow, notably near the south coast, maybe give a flake or two of snow in the Channel Islands, but really no more than that. And then we'll see a change. The low will be drifting across to the east, and then we're going to build this high pressure down so that I think uh, during Monday it will become much colder, especially down in the south, with these uh, very uh, strong and cold easterly winds. Let's have a look at the satellite picture then, and it can uh, show you that there's very little cloud across the country uh, just at the moment. Most places having a very uh, clear night, just a bit of cloud over southern parts of Ireland. This clear night tonight means a very cold one, a widespread, often very severe frost, down to minus 8 degrees centigrade, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, even lower than that in some of the glens of Scotland. And with these low temperatures, perhaps a few uh, freezing patches of fog around. But that'll be clearing away in the morning. And then for most places, a day very similar to today. In other words, a dry day, a fair amount of sunshine. Uh, quite cold still, but temperatures getting above freezing for most of us during the afternoon. Rather more in the way of cloud in that northwestern part than you've had today. And certainly in the Channel, along the southern coast, there will be cloud from time to time, a flake or two of snow in the Channel Islands. Well, that's it from me. A very good night, dear. Sunday night on BBC One at 7.15 by the Sword Divided. Following a royalist uprising, reinforcements are called to Armscot. It's blood to be shed again. We shed blood to save blood, ma'am. We have the scent of a quarry. The Lord grant we find it. In Last of the Summer Wine at five past eight, there's trouble with an abandoned mattress when Foggy starts a clean-up campaign. Hello. <laughs> At 8.35, Mastermind. Four contenders from London and the South East step into the firing line. In That's Life at 9.20, romance is in the air as Esther Ranson tries to give roses to men. And fails. At five past ten, every man reports from Laos. With politics of pressure at 10.45 and international darts at ten past eleven, that's Sunday night on BBC One. Now on BBC One, a Saturday night spine chiller. Full-blooded horror, a sharp sense of humour and frightening Oscar-winning special effects are the ingredients. Showing for the first time on British television, an American werewolf in London. <laughs>